from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Wednesday, August the 28th, 2024. The IDF today announced two casualties in Gaza. They are 32-year-old Master Sergeant in Reserve Yochai Chai Glam, killed in battle today, and 19-year-old Staff Sergeant Amit Friedman, who was killed in battle yesterday. Fighting continues between Israeli troops and terror group Hamas in Gaza, with Israeli troops eliminating terrorists and destroying terror infrastructure, including it shared today a three-kilometer or 1.86-mile long tunnel in the center of the Gaza Strip. The IDF said it carried out an airstrike in Syria today, eliminating a significant terrorist in the Islamic Jihad Terrorist Organization Operations Division. The strike took place on the Syrian-Lebanese border. The IDF said the terrorist was responsible for the development of the Islamic Jihad's operational plans in Syria and Lebanon, and that he had a central role in the recruitment of Palestinian terrorists into the Hezbollah terrorist organization, responsible for carrying out terrorist attacks from Lebanon against the state of Israel. Also saying that additional Islamic Jihad terrorists who were on their way from Syria to carry out terrorist activities for Hezbollah in Lebanon were eliminated in the strike. Rockets, meanwhile, continue to be fired at northern Israel by Hezbollah in Lebanon. No damage or injury was reported. The IDF continues to respond to the attacks. And the IDF said today that it launched a major counter-terror operation in the West Bank overnight last night, saying Israeli aircraft eliminated a number of armed terrorists who posed a threat to Israeli forces in the area of Jenin and Tul Karim. Israeli troops also apprehended, it said, wanted suspects, confiscated weapons and exposed and dismantled explosives that were planted under the roads in the area intended to be detonated in attacks against the security forces operating there. The Hostage Family Forum led a convoy today from Hostage Square in Tel Aviv to the Gaza border community of Kibbutz Be'eri that was devastated on October the 7th to call for a deal that would see the release of their loved ones. The forum yesterday noted the rescue of Israeli hostage Kaid Farhan al-Qadi, bringing a brief moment of hope and light, it wrote, into our lives. We are filled with joy as we see pictures of Kaid's return to his family's embrace. The forum said Kaid has endured horrors beyond comprehension saying we must not forget the 108 remaining hostages who are suffering similar torment, calling to seal the deal to bring all 108 hostages home, the living for rehabilitation and the murdered for proper burial in their homeland. Hostage family members spoke at the gathering this evening and tomorrow morning will use loudspeakers to send messages to their loved ones with the hopes that they will hear. The hostages who remain captive in Gaza have now been held for 327 days. Taking a look now at our programming for tonight on JBS for Wednesday, August the 28th. At 7 o'clock, it's David Harris on Defending Israel. At 7.30, Shahar Azani speaks with Natan Worldwide Disaster Relief's Chairman Daniel Kahn and newly appointed CEO Alice Miller to discuss Israeli resilience, the crucial role of Israeli civil society on October the 7th and beyond. That program is also coming up at 10. At 8, Jerry Berkowitz, a survivor of the 1970 Black September airplane hijacking, recounts his harrowing experience as a hostage and offers insights and consolation for families of current hostages being held by Hamas. At 9, it's Paula Eisel on L'Chaim at 10.30, an encore of the news, and coming up next, it's Thinking Out Loud. And that's the JBS News Update for Wednesday, August the 28th, 2024. I'm Tisha Bader. Am Yisrael Chai.